Okay, I'm here today with a student who's going to talk about book lists and how he adds uh, books to um, his own book list. Okay, so like the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, log into our account. So. Okay, so when we're logged in, you want to uh, go to google.com slash books. And then you want to add a new shelf. And you want to name it 8th grade book shelf. And you want to make sure it's public. And then you just create it. So then it should open it up. So then you can you can go find a book, which you can pretty much find any any book. But so then you just go to the the book that you searched that you've read, and then you can just go to add to my library, and then go to your eighth grade bookshelf. Click that and it should be in there. Then you need to go to your bookshelf, which is, oh, you need to click on the Google Books logo thing. Then you need to go to your eighth grade bookshelf, which would be on the left hand side. Then you need to copy the URL and go to spectacook.info, and on the right hand side, under blue wing is a link called book list. Pretty much just add the information that you need to. So home loan and your name and your avatar name and then you just paste the link that you did and Submit it, and then, then you're all you're all set. So why do you think this way is any better than doing it the, the way you've been doing it? Because we can search through a whole library and find any book that we've ever read. And this this way, we're not gonna we're not gonna ever lose a book, or we're never going to forget that we've read a book. So we're gonna be able to have every book, and we're gonna be able to take credit for every book that we've ever read. So this this way. You're not gonna you're not gonna lose anything, and it's just eliminating paper, so it's gonna be a lot easier to ever find a book that you've ever had. So that's why it's better.